Welcome guys, it is the X-Men here and we are back on Oxfile Evolved with some more Troy Wars, yeah boy! Look at this, so last time out we did the uh, Galamimus event race and I've got a little um, trophy area now. So we can place a little ribbon up there for first place, we've got a first place trophy. Uh, it is facing the right way, right? Yeah, it looks like it is. Look at that, so we're going to hopefully add more to that as uh, we do more events and stuff. Um, so when we did the event, we actually won uh, Madagama, who's just chilling there. We're going to go and play around with him today, and I'm going to go and visit some bases, and I'm going to place some uh, bounties on people. Um, I just want a nice chill episode today, um, just just to have a relax. Um, it's, been a, it's been a very long week. And I just need some time to chill on Ark. So that's what they're going to do today. I'm probably going to look at the, this base. I don't think I've shown his base off. Storm's been working very hard on it. So we're going to have a look at that as well. So if you do enjoy this video at any point, don't forget to smash the thumbs up button, subscribe, ring the bell, and enable notification. Make sure you smash that like button for Slushy. Slushy uh, number two really wants you to smash that thumbs up button. She's giving you that look. So go ahead and do that. And um, comment uh, question of uh, the day. What was your favorite extinction creature? So we had like uh, the Managama, Snow Owl, Gacha. We're out of all of them, because like I didn't like extinction, but the Snow Owl and the Managama were pretty cool. The rest of the whole DLC was kind of awful, but as we're going to play the Managama, whack that down, your favorite one. So yeah, let's start then. So Storm has been just building this uh, base for us. So we've each got an individual room. Uh, we've all got this glass that's only one-way glass, so I can see out of it, but no one can see into it, which I find really, really cool. So that's my room. That's a spare room. Uh, Storm lives in here. They've got a king bed. I'm not sure why they stole the king bed. Yeah, I get a stupid bunk bed. Um, Nova lives in here. Oh, Nova's been decorating. Jesus, that's really freaking bright. My eyeballs hurt. Uh, Sev's just not long started on the server. He likes to sleep on the floor, or she likes to sleep on the floor. Nice and nice and cute in there. So there are all the bedrooms. Uh, got, some, got some more glass there, one way. And then we come down to my throne. It's really bright in here, but it's dark outside. So this is where I, I sit and make decisions. Um, Tundra tav Tavern, under construction. Okay, that's under construction, and this is our... Uh, <laughs> Members only, this is kind of where we just uh, put all our shit. I love the fact we can see the waterfall there. So, let me grab some gold. So we have 45 gold now. After winning that event, we got a lot of gold. Uh, silver's kind of going down, but I'm going to take... Uh, I kind of want to do a really big hit with like 10. And then we'll maybe just do some smaller ones. 16, that'll do. I won the gold, so I'm going to spend it. And uh, yeah, this is where we keep all our other stuff just there. So yeah, that's our base. Uh, that's what it's looking like. As you can see, you can't see into it. So if someone does try and come and spy on a base, apart from that bit of glass just there. <laughs> Storm, you missed a bit. You missed a bit just there. Okay, let's get around here. So uh, here we go. Here's the Managama, and it does have the ice saddle on it. So this is Sapphire. That's all we're calling her. So let's uh, maybe just move around here, and we can have a little look at her. So we do have the Tundra saddle. We just don't have... Um, Managama is on this map, otherwise we'd be able to have it as an exclusive creature. But uh, we've got like some crystals on our head. We have kind of the the snow, um, the snow saddle, not the snow, the flyer saddle, sorry, for the Trinodon and the Quetzal have like a galaxy look. We've kind of got that on the wings and on the head of this, which is really cool. And then we, can we see the saddle? I can't really have a look at the saddle from, from there. If we came out, we could kind of see it. We have a, a, a reindeer on the back. That's the reindeer skin. And then we've got like, is that a crate of penguins? And a crate of something else. Maybe some fish or something. So we've got that just kind of chilling there, which is uh, really cool. I really love its face. Its face is really cute. <laughs> so there's Sapphire. So let's go head to town. I've pumped in a few levels on this. Uh, health, I, health is still going up. I did pump a load of health into it. Uh, did some stamina and I did some melee. So... Well, we got a giraffe. What did we get a giraffe? Okay, before we go anywhere, we've got a freaking giraffe. That's cool. Nova brought one. Oh, so Nova joined us because they didn't like the tribe they were in or they just got bored or whatever. Oh, they brought a giraffe with them. <laughs> That's really cool. All right, let's head to town then. Go and play some bounties on people's heads just for the fun of it. Uh, we don't mean any, like, nastiness about it. We, I don't think we're even at war with anyone. Anyone that we had problems with, we've kind of, like dealt with already like place bounties killed and whatever there's no one that's really causing any issues i feel like i'm the only one 
placing bounties on people's heads <laughs> just because I want to kill people. I get bored and I want to kill people. That's, that's, that's what I do in my spare time. Not in real life, but only on Ark, obviously. So that's the bounty board at the minute. So we've got me, Dragon, Phazon, and Fluffer. Okay, so let's have a look at this. So there's a couple people on. Now, Outcast, he's a nomad right now. If we put a target on a nomad, they're not likely to trade with us. However, Outcast is on a lot, and I feel like it'd be funny to put a bounty on him. Uh, just, just for shits and giggles. Last season, we did uh, steal their griffin, and they did trap Lady Axe. So maybe we'll we'll put a five. We'll put a five on them. Uh, we don't want to reward if they're alive. We want them straight up dead. Uh, for a reason, I'm just going to put why not. So if I click accept... Oh, there we go. There we go. All right. Another one then I want to do. Um, Apocalypse at B is always a good one. Uh, so maybe I'm going to put a three on him. The Volcano Tribe are very active. Uh, so put three on him. And Storm. We need to do Storm again. Storm's always trying to kill me. So we're going to get them again. Just because it'll be funner. Uh, there they are. So maybe can we put a five on them? I'm just going to put a wing face. Okay. So we close that. How much gold have we got? We've got three gold left. Let's do one more person then. Uh, who else do I see on a lot? Okay, you know what we are going to do? We're going to do this. We're going to put a bounty on Lady Axe. <laughs> She's going to hate me forever for this. Um, there we go. <laughs> Honestly, she's going to wake up and she's going to see that. And she's going to be like, are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> so Storm is the big hit. Outcast is a big hit. Uh, Apocalypse to B. Yes. They're all going to hate me for this. Oh, God, you didn't load in properly. So now what I'm going to do, I just kind of want to fly around, visit some bases, um, see where everyone is right now, like what, what everyone is up to. Um, let's just gamma down a bit. So there was chaos. Okay, I was going to say, I know there was a nomad here. Kind of got a lot of stuff going on. We do have a rule where nomads can't stay in a certain area for so long, so... Oh wait, is this? Is this Outcast? Is this Outcast just here? They may have to move soon. I think it's this Outcast. Imagine we killed them. <laughs> have they got like... Oh, I understand. So they've got... A couple Parasaurs, and if they all face in the same way... They make a big base. Ooh. You know what? That is kind of clever. So they've like separated all of them. So each parasol has a different thing. So one's got a greenhouse. One's got their creatures. And one's like the crafting one. And then, oh, that's really smart. So once they're all facing together, it makes like a base. Huh. That's cool. Are you a nanny? Or a nanny. I'm not sure where Outcast actually is. Probably off trading somewhere. Oh, okay, that's cool. That's really cool. I love this thing. I really want one of these. We may have to trade for one of them. The Lodestone Golem. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to check out the Swamp Tribe. We never really got to see them, and they did actually message me when I was playing once to say to come look at their base, because I think they're, they're pretty proud of it. So we'll go and have a look at their base. Then I'll go into the Redwoods and see if we can find the Forest Tribe base, because I know they've got, like, a big base going on. Uh, then we'll probably head maybe to the Flyers. I really want to see what they're doing with their base. I don't think any of them are on, so we probably shouldn't get attacked. God, this part of the swamp is, like, so freaking thick. Like, how am I meant to get through all this and be able to see at the same time? All right, here's the swamp base then. So they live next to this massive tree. Uh, I do have to be careful going in here because this thing's jump, like, damages some creatures sometimes. Okay, looks like we're good. Let's have a look around here. Oh god, I got detected. Because uh, I want to see how the Swamp are getting on this season. They seem to be very active. Like, considering um, the like, last season, the kind of we wasn't when we was there. Oh, it's one of them weird electric things. They are the creepiest shit I've ever seen. Like, it's just so naked and disgusting looking at it. Ugh, I don't know. So we've got them weird uh, kind, kind of giant chickens. Uh, they've got Spinos, they've got a Razor Tooth. They've kind of got a lot going on here. Guanodons. Is that a... Is that a freaking, uh, what they call it, a smock? Damn, they got some good colours on that. 
Oh, man, they got a phoenix. I want a phoenix. What the shit? Oh. They must have bought that from the Flyer Tribe. Yo, that's cool. I've not played around with a phoenix in so long. All right, before we actually go into the base, I wanted to show off the crab. So they bought, because we don't have rock drakes on this map, uh, to immersive tame these, you have to, like, fight them. And I know they bought some rock drake feathers off the dra off dragon for some gold. So they obviously did get around to taming this. Did they call it Mr. Krabs? They did. <laughs> but yeah, this is a swamp exclusive creature. And it's, uh, oh wow. It's got a freaking crock underneath him. That's really cool. It's got like all the uh, vines hanging off it and stuff. Oh man, that's really cool. It's got little spines. He's got like horns coming out of his head. That's really cool looking. I really like that. And the fact it's green, I'm hoping it was green when they tamed it and the saddle doesn't change it green because that's really cool looking. That's a really cool saddle. I'm glad they added the crab for the swamp because that just goes well. I feel like the next swamp creature should definitely be the spino. I feel like that's how it should go. So this looks like where the main building area is. So let's see what they've done. They've built on the water, which is really cool. I like that. They've got a lot of smithies going on. The big tent. This is this is a nice little neat area. Uh, it's giving away more raptors than I needed from dragon up for grabs. <laughs> oh wow, they have a little area to sit around and eat. We got a little kind of a pool area. Oh, that's where they keep the barrier on next. Okay, that's really cool. We got like this uh, swamp um, rugs knocking about. Oh, what's in here? Oh, okay. Looks like they're building summit here. This is a lot neater than what I had for last season. <laughs> we got a map going on there. That's cool. I'm not sure what this is. Are they just like... Okay, it looks like they're just building some of there. Nice. We got a little area down here. What are they? They're baby ones. Oh, God. Jeez. Someone's there. Hey. Just checking out your base. <laughs> just checking out your base. Scared the shit out of me. Ooh. So these are the normal crocs. This is the Atlas croc, is it? That thing's crazy looking. Oh, they have a green horrible le le lemon looking thing. I want to go and see that base. Actually, they have so much going on here. This. This is really cool. This is really cool. Wow. So we, I kind of do these base like tour videos because... They are easy on me, it's e it is easy content, it is lazy content, but I know a lot of people like to watch videos for like building ideas and stuff, and I feel like, even for myself, like, I learn a lot, like, this is really cool, this is very swampy. Have they got the freaking, is that, what is this? Is that a saddle on a wall? How have they got that up there? A large tack, what is, oh that must be from the, the horse mod. The stables. Okay, this is probably my favorite. Oh god, this is probably my favorite thing so far. The baryonyx and spino school uh, heads there. That's really cool. Uh, they've got some more crabs. Okay, they have loads of crabs. I like this base. I like this base a lot. I wish that these guys had built this for me last season because I don't normally build bases. <laughs> uh, last season, I kind of left it to everyone else. I did the temple, and that was about it. That's really cool. GG, guys. Well done. That's probably my favorite one so far. So we'll go look at the forest tribe. And then we'll probably go head over to um, the flyers. That's if uh, Storm doesn't kill us. Uh, is it there? I feel like it will feel the frames drop when it starts loading in. It might be up here. There it is. Okay, here's, here's a base, I believe. It looks like it. Hopefully they've not got any plant species. <laughs> Okay, they've got a little watchtower, though. That's amazing. So this should be forest... All right, shadow forest tribe. So I think that's forest one. Okay. There we go. Hopefully we don't hit out. All right. Oh, have they built in the cave as well? All right. Are you guys online? I should say, like, offline damage. Uh, they might be online. Can we climb up here? Damn it. That's a cool little watchtower. I really like that. You can just look out and see if anyone's coming into the base. That's really cool. 
All right, let's see what's got what you guys have got going on. A little base there. That looks like it's gonna be a greenhouse. Oh, they have a ladder going all the way up there. Ooh. Yeah, that looks like it's gonna be a greenhouse there. So they've got all the bears. So their exclusive creature is the bear and the bronto. That has got a saddle on. Oh, is it the Oh, that's the Atlas Bear. Ooh. The saddle doesn't really fit on it, but that's pretty cool. So they've got the really cool tents. I love the forest tents. Oh, it's got a poor little sheepy there. <laughs> Uh, they've got like a crafting area here. A lot of colours going on. Uh, oh, they've even named them all. Look at them being all organised and stuff. So it looks like they're building a workshop. Uh, they have a house over here. Normally what everyone does is everyone builds their own house. What is this? Taming pen. Normally everyone in a tribe builds their own houses. Um, it looks like that's what they've done maybe here. Okay, looks like we can't get in. Oh, what? Oh, I really want to get in there and have a look. You got otters and they got the monkeys. That back bit looks really cool. Oh god, the monkeys make weird noises. That's really neat. Can we get around on the other side? I want to stand on your balcony. Oh, we can. Oh wow, that's pretty sexy. I'm not gonna lie. I like that. So they've got a, a balcony overlooking like the forest. Yeah, that's what I feel. That's a rock trick then. It's just water. Overlooking the forest, like straight up the volcano. That's... I, li I really like this. <laughs> and then they've obviously we've got the full-on glass there. Uh, that is from... Yeah, the stable mod. Is that their bed at the top there? They have a lot of monkeys. They make horrible noises. I don't like them. It's really creepy. Uh, do not know they've got anything there. So let's maybe take a look at what's going on up there then. Oh... Oh, they have built in here. This thing is pretty as dicks. Oh my god. Wow. Yo, this thing's amazing. Whoa. This goes all the way around. Who are you, Cabba? So this, is this a rock? They've built like into the rock and it goes around. Got the shine horns. Got the weird, I'm not sure what them creatures are called. What are these? What are you? I have no idea what that is. This is really, oh my god, I need to go over there and have a look. There's a trilobite! <laughs> this looks like just a little area to, for breeding or something. I'm not sure what the, that border is. I want to live in this like forest cave. Like This is like inside of a big rock ain't it oh man this this is cool guardian guardian look at that one's <laughs> i love that one's mask that one's uh, a little funky is someone over there oh there is someone online what so they've got like they've got candles all over this that thing's just chilling on the rug this thing is beautiful who's that marker Look at these candles everywhere. They're, wow. I I love this. I love this base so much. This is crazy. <laughs> Every time I come to people's bases, they're like, oh, are you uh, are you going to like claim a bounty? Are you going to raid me or something? This is actually... I, I, I mean, I love that swamp tribe. I feel like this is even better. I want to live here. I want to move to the forest tribe right now and live here. This is kind of a lot of storage. <laughs> this is definitely a storage tent. There is a lot going on in that one. And then this looks like they're just kind of starting on this one, maybe. I, I can't even explain. Like, this is actually beautiful. I think I'm in love with this base, especially the location. With just, like, the dark, but, like, all the lights everywhere. I'm sure I saw one. There's a freaking otter in the pool. Oh, is it all, like, bright down there as well? I'm going to have to check. Oh, my God, it is. They just have otters chilling in there. Okay, I'm in love with this area. So, for those of you who, you know, kind of play along single player and stuff, that's where we are on the map. We're around there. There's a big cave in the near the Redwoods. This is freaking beautiful. Uh, if I was going to, like, rate the bases, I'd probably give Forest maybe uh, an 8. 
maybe a seven and eight. Uh, obviously, they're still doing stuff. This area just here alone, I would give that bit over there a solid nine. This middle bit here as well looks absolutely, like, fantastic and amazing. Like, GG, guys. That is actually amazing. Okay, let's go up top then. Should be able to get up here. There we go. Just want to see what this bit here is. Is this, like, a little house? Uh, it looks like they're maybe still just building this at the minute. What? That's cool. It's pin code. Okay, let's try and guess this. Nope. Uh, nope. Uh, nope. Nope. <laughs> One more. Nope. Okay, we're not getting in. <laughs> Good job there's loads of glass so we can see into it, though. This is really cool. Is this like a... Um, what do you call them? Like when... You, you convert your loft or your, uh, what was it called? Um, your attic, that's it. Your loft or your attic into like a room. That's what that kind of reminds me of. That's that's really cool. God, the forest tribe and their builds this, this season. That's really cool, that is. All right, so I guess we will go to the fly tribe now. Oh, 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 found it. There we go. All right. There's also a Deinonychus nest there. And we're also fighting some of it, but I'm not sure what. Let's let Stam go up, and we'll head on over there. Hopefully, like, Storm doesn't uh, isn't there or something. I know they're online right now, part of the Fly Tribe. They like to uh, shoot first and ask questions later. Oh, yeah, here's their base. All right, we do have to be careful, because if I do... Oh, God. Ooh, there we go. See, if I do land wrong, then we could hurt some stuff. Okay, let's have a look around here then. So they've got all the banners up. So it looks, looks like uh, this one, this base has just been start building. Not much really going on in that bit there. They've got all the small little fly creatures knocking about though. So I can't remember if we've said this, but the rule on this season was only flyers. Tribe contained flyers. Oh, that looks cool. Um, so if I wanted a fly, I'd have to trade with the flies to get one. Okay. So we've seen this before. It has been upgraded. This is their battle chopper, which is really cool. So it's the Quetzal, uh, but it's like all kind of full on stoned up. And it's got these like, it's got a spoiler and these propellers around the sides. It looks really cool. <laughs> it's very imaginative. And I like that. They've uh, they put a lot of a lot of effort into that. Uh, so what we got here? This looks like, I mean, the main building looks like down there because there's a big circle thing. Can't get in there. Damn it. Okay, we can see into it though, which is cool. So we've got loads of glow tails. Okay, so it looks like there's not much going on in there. So they must have just not long, not long built this. Damn it, flies! Why'd you lock your doors? Why can you not let a guy like me like snoop around your base? Oh, look at that up there. Hello. Wait, where did I put my creature? There we are. Oh, <laughs> come on. Get up. All right, I want to see this thing down here. This looks crazy. Is what have they got here? They've got like a random pen. I heard someone whistle. There's a Quetzal there. There. They, they must know I'm here. I'm just, I'm just looking at your base. This... Looks amazing, whatever this is. It's a circle. They built a circle in Ark. That's crazy. How? How did you do this? Oh, so you can sit on the throne and have dinner. Oh, can we get down there? Oh, we can. So we just flew above us. <laughs> they're they're going to see my man of God and just be like, oh, there's a quetzal just there. Hey, Storm. <laughs> I know you see me. Let's jump down this bit if we can. Nope. I'm going to be stuck. Are we just going to be stuck here? There we go. Okay, so they've got a, the furnace in here. Got a beehive. Just kind of general stuff in here. It looks like they're like central community area. I mean, it's cool. And also, it's really cool because it's a freaking circle. You don't realize how hard it is to build a circle in Ark. That's really cool. There we go. I want to see this. Looks like they're building another circle here. I'm just going to land inside of it, apparently. 
I think that's what they're, I think that's what they're actually doing on the quest. Center. Oh, they've got like chandeliers hanging from here. Damn. Look at... Don't make noise like that. Look at them building crazy shit. God, they're really going ham on like their buildings. Hey, look, there's a quest over there. Hey, guy. Hey, Storm, there's a quest over there. Go tame it. They are definitely building big. Like, they're going really big builds of that. And they're, obviously, they're taking advantage of learning how to build circle stuff. That looks really, really cool. It looks like they're going half circle here as well. That is really neat. I love the chandeliers as well. So obviously they are nowhere near finished this. So we can't really rate their base. Can't really rate their build. Uh, what they do have though is really cool. That thing's cool. That circle thing is is epic. I'd give them a good 7. I feel like it's going to be really good once they finish it. Like I'm kind of excited to come back and have a look at it. Alright, I've got one more to do just because I know their base is going to be good. The Volcanic Tribe. Uh, so they're all the way over there. Um, now, I saw a small screenshot, uh, I think Apocalyptic B sent me a, an image of uh, they build like on top of the lava or something, and he's like, it took them ages to do, and they're really impressed with it, so I'll show that off, and then we can save the other tribes for another video. Um, we're still going to look at desert, we're still going to look at cave, uh, we're going to look at the brine tribe, and who else? Cannibals, maybe? I'm not sure where the cannibals have built, I'm sure there's another tribe I'm forgetting. Is it me? Is it the Tundra tribe I'm forgetting? <laughs> right, we'll head to the volcano, we'll check that last base out, and then we can uh, wrap it up for a day. Oh, they have a lava cave underneath them. Ooh. Sweet, there we go. So this is where they live. Anything after me? I don't think so. Let's, uh... Damn, we're up. So this is the volcano tribe. Does this hurt if I touch this? No, sweet. All right, so let's see what they've got then. So they've got bodies hanging there, which is, um... A little disturbing. So this is a bit of dino storage they've got. Can we get... Oh, they can get up here. Ooh. That's cool. This is Devil. So he's actually online right now. I think he just went off to do a trade. I just saw in chat. I like uh, how they're... Oh, that's really cool. I like how they have theirs on, like, stilts. Uh, so there's Piranha Food. So it looks like they've all got their own tent. Which I, I love the idea of that. Everyone has their own one. Right, let's see if we can... Uh, I don't think they have this open. Oh, they do. Oh. Wow. So, yeah, when I said they've built on the lava, like, I'm pretty sure that would hurt me if I touched it. I remember them saying, like, it's really hard to build on here. That is crazy. That is really cool, that is. So they legit have lava inside the base, like, just spewing out of where. Whoa, what is this? Yo, what? Did, what? How do you get around here without dying? Is this glass? Oh! Oh, that's cool. Is this glass? Ah, so they've got glass and you can walk on it. That's really neat. I was going to say, how do you get around? What the shit? How have they built this? I want a big fish tank like that. Yo, that is epic. I give you a 10 out of 10 just for this. What? I want one of them in my house. What is this? Welcome. Oh, is that Apocalyptic B? <laughs> That's really cute. Oh, God, this is crazy. Oh, my God. Imagine sitting here. Imagine this is your, like, living room. And you just sit here with lava all underneath you. God. It's got to be so warm in here. Oh, what have we got here? What does that say? Time out table. Naughty try mate gets to eat by themselves. Aw. I'm on timeout. I've got to eat here by myself. <laughs> That's the table they all eat at. Oh man, this is this is really neat. Okay, that door's locked. They did have an upstairs somewhere, didn't they? Where did it, okay, here's some stairs. I was gonna say I knew they had an upstairs. Ah, and this is their greenhouse, and that's the water. Damn, that looks really cool. Okay, everyone's bases are actually really neat. I love this. This is like scary but really cool as well oh they have plant species there is that going to shoot me please don't damn guys like I know they've struggled because uh, I did say at the start of the, the season like whoever's involved the Canic tribe are going to struggle a little just because of how hostile this area is 
and there's not many resources, but they have done a damn good job. That is... I, if I was going to rank the three bases I've looked, the four bases I've looked at, I would have to go the forest in the cave, then this, then the swamp, and the flyers, unfortunately, because they've not really finished yet, but I'd give this one a solid... I mean, it looks like they've finished it, so maybe a solid eight going on to a nine. That is really, really cool. All right, then, I'll tell you what, we're going to call it a day there. So we've played some bounces, so hopefully more PvP is happening. Um, we've uh, rode around on Sapphire, and we've visited some bases. Like I said, it was a nice, chill episode. I hope, like, like everyone got some ideas for their own base builds. That's kind of why we do this. Um, so if you did enjoy it, don't forget to smash the thumbs up button, subscribe, ring the bell, enable notifications, comment down which base was your favourite, and thanks for watching, and I will see you all soon.